Hello, everybody. My name is Quicksquery. Welcome back to my single-player world. Um, I've done some tidying up a little bit around here. Added some bridges. I removed the deck. I didn't really like what it was. Um, uh, what it was doing. It was too plain and stuff. So I added these simple little bridges. Um. Torches are kind of getting cluttered all over the place, but uh, the bridges are looking pretty nice. And I'll take that up. Um, so today, uh, my plan is to um, is to find some crops. Hopefully, a village. Um, why do I want this? Okay, so the end goal right now is to get enchantments. And to get enchantments, I want uh, books. And to get books, I need animals. And to get animals, I need crops. So I'm going to make, I'm going to get some crops this episode of different types. Get some animals, some more reliable food than this mushroom stew. Um, and so hopefully things will go well. And so I'm going to do a little bit of exploring and uh, see if I can find a village. So I will get back to you if I find anything interesting. Well, there's something interesting. Uh, this isn't actually all that far away. You can kind of see that mushroom there is on the end of the um, end of our little island. And right over here we have a desert temple. And so I'm going to loot this and see what interesting things we get. Hopefully there aren't... This hasn't ever been loaded before, I don't think, so there shouldn't be any mobs around. protection book. Emeralds? That's decent. More emeralds. A golden apple. I like that. A saddle. I don't have any of those yet. Diamond horse armor! No way! That is super cool. Okay. Awesome. I am pumped up about that. That is super neat. I'm just gonna take all of this stuff. Oh, emeralds. What don't I need in my inventory? Pressure plate. What else don't I need in my inventory? Uh, those. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Well, that's cool. That's super close. I might even make some kind of a little base or something here. I don't know. Anyway, um, no crops yet. Uh, we'll see uh, what we get if we can find a village or something over in this direction. So, we'll see you in a little bit. That over there, off in the distance, that little rooftop. That's exactly what I was looking for. That means there's a village off over there. small, but we will see, we got carrots, that's good, a carrot, there we go, 
I'll replant for you, villagers. We got potatoes. That's also good. Ooh, I don't have... Hmm. Okay. Don't need seeds. I don't need ink sacks or dandelions. Okay. Potatoes. Potatoes. Um, do they have beets here? They do have beets here. Nice. Awesome. Now I have, I think, all of the crops. Let's see if any of these villagers have any good trades. Toolsmith, no. No one in there. No one in there. No one in here. Oh, no. There are people in here. Librarian. Feather falling four. That's not bad. For 20 emeralds. Okay. Okay. Well. Hey! There is a blacksmith here. That is pretty cool. Diamond horse armor again? What is this? Oh my goodness, that is pretty crazy. Okay, I'm going to eat my mushroom stew. Um, put that last bowl in there. Take that bread and put it in my offhand. Take the diamond horse armor. And if I ever come back here, I can have that. Um, I should probably unload this village, just to help out the villagers, keep them from getting attacked by zombies. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave these villagers be for the night. Maybe defeat a couple zombies on my way out. And... Oh, wow! Hey, look at that! Man! Lots of things you don't see every day. That is a well. Nice. That's super cool. Fresh water supply. Okay. I will start heading home hopefully not die and see you in a little bit okay so I th uh, made it back just fine uh, didn't take any damage except for half a heart from fall damage that was me being a little careless um, all the stuff's in chests um, so I've decided that okay right there is our sugarcane farm right down there under that hill and I'm thinking that I'm going to make kind of an artificial hill that, um, and I'll have like layers to it, and I'll put all of the crops on that, uh, hill. And that may not make a bunch of, a uh, lot of sense, but that's what I'm going to do. But before we get to that, I am almost out of iron, and so I need to do some mining. So I'm going to spend an hour mining, and I will, uh, show you what I got, and I will... Uh, then we'll be back to start making this hill and the farm that I will put all my crops on. You have got to be kidding me. So I uh, come down here. I'm going to, like, you know, place down a few furnaces and some uh, chests and stuff uh, just to set up a little station down here so I can just smelt stuff and drop stuff off without having to go all the way up there every time. And there are diamonds right here. <sighs> Well, I'm... I can't complain, honestly. <laughs> it better be more than one. Okay, it is. Good. Okay, we got four. At least. Five, six. I 
think. Oh. Yeah, I think it's those six. Awesome. Yep, that's it. Okay, well, now I'm going to go <laughs> do a little one-hour mining session. Uh, probably start strip mine in this direction, and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so this is how fast it, it takes to mine a regular cobblestone, so obviously this is a silverfish block. Okay. Where are you, other silverfish? Yeah, this is a cave here, so probably. I'm wondering if the. Yeah, I'm wondering if um, the strong uh, stronghold is nearby, or and I just stumbled upon it by accident, or if I that was just a chance silverfish. And it's looking like it was just a chance silverfish, but uh, you never know. Oh boy! Oh boy! I'm just gonna not bother with that for now. Whoo! Okay. Well, I'll get back to you, um, if I find anything else interesting. So, I finished our little my mining session, and this is everything I got. I'm gonna sort that out into some chests here soon. Uh, but for now, we are going to go out the back entrance over to where I'm planning on making our crop farm. Um... We won't be doing melons and pumpkins in this farm, but we will be doing other things like uh, all the other ones like beets and potatoes, carrots, and uh, wheat. So, um, this hill right here is where I was thinking of like starting it, and so I was thinking of having something like this going along the side with occasional logs to help act as look like kind of supports and on top of this we're gonna have the farmland so like these blocks right here are gonna end up being like farmland and I'll just like pretend that that's farmland um, and so that's kind of what it's gonna what my thought is right now as far as what it's going to look like. And so these will be kind of like looking like they are holding back the stuff. And so it'll go up um, another three and then one more. Ah, shovel ran out. Okay. And then it will start in again on this layer. One, two, three. And this layer will have the same stuff in it. We'll have a different block right there in that bottom area. But this is the general idea. No, not like that. Not like that. Of what the farm here is, what I plan on the farm here looking like. So, I'm gonna build this area up a little bit, make it wider and stuff, probably clear out a few more trees, and I like how that's alternating, and I think I'm gonna stick with that. Probably expand it out a little bit here, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. And we'll have our water be right in that block right there that I just mined out. That one. Um, and I will uh, 
I'll show you my progress. So, see you then. So, this is what I have so far. I've been going up and down this staircase for, I don't know, probably 15 minutes or so, just trying to decide whether I like it or not. Uh, figure, trying to figure out what needs changing. Because it feels like there's something missing right now. And I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, but, um, I'm going to add some supports under here at some point to make it look a little better. Uh, but this is, eh, it's not looking too bad. So, uh, obviously I need to put the water in right there. In that block. For, uh, all of these rows, and uh, then I can plow them down with a hoe, and we can get to uh, get to work on starting the farm, uh, planting the crops and such. So, yeah. So we have some crops growing right now. Some wheat, potatoes, carrots, and beets. And while we have the least amount of the beets, I don't really have as much need for beets as we do for, say, carrots and potatoes. So I'll probably actually um, spend more of this. This is our my entire... Um, my entire stock of bones converted into bone meal. So, uh, I'll probably spend more of this bone meal on the carrots and potatoes than I will on, say, the beets and the wheat. Because we have plenty of wheat growing right now, we don't have plenty of carrots and potatoes growing right now, and carrots and potatoes are the uh, things that we really need right now. So, um, I will, uh, I'm gonna do some more growing and hopefully get some more of this done. Uh, this is about all the time I have for the episode here. I am, right now I'm not worrying too much about the top layer of water, uh, and I will do that when I uh, terraform this whole area and make it look much better than it is right now. Um, this hill right here is what I'm talking about, because right now it's kind of looking in some sad shape. I'll probably add some sort of a lake at the top, and uh, with that I'll use, yeah, anyway, with that I'll, that will hydrate the crops. Um, at some point I'll probably add like stone bricks or something right, right here, so that um, yeah, the, this will look nicer and we won't have this bit of dirt showing, sticking out of the bottom of the logs there. Maybe I'll even just add uh, more logs going down to make it look more of full supports right there. Um, but that's about all the time I have for today. Uh, we will get on to the statistics and uh, I will show you those. Hello! So today we have our statistic spotlight of Use item dot dirt statistic, which means that is the amount of dirt that I have placed. So, um, in this episode, uh, after this episode, we have placed a total of 795 dirt. That's about 800. And in episode two, we placed uh, 279, which means that between episodes, I'm not sure what Excel is doing. I do not know what Excel is doing. Okay, um, between episodes, we have placed 
516 dirt just in this episode alone. So, that's a pretty decent amount. That's quite a few stacks, honestly. Um, if we take this and divide it by 64, yeah, that's 8 stacks, just over, of dirt placed. And that's quite a few stacks of dirt. Um, anyway, obviously we'll... Uh, go over more of this in the future, and the CSV will be available for download in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a fantastic day, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.